By following this video, you will be able to achieve the same result in your own application. If this helps you guys, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to include in-app update features in our Android apps. To do that, we need to implement two dependencies in the built Gradle file. As always, I will leave a reference link in the description below for you guys as well. Once we implemented the dependency, we have to sync the build Gradle as always. And then let's go to the coding part. Now let's declare two variables here. The one is for the app update manager and another one is for the activity reset launcher. Now let's make a function for our in-app update. Now type the following code and of course I have given the reference for this code in the description below. App update manager is initialized using the app update manager factory. This manager will handle checking for update and starting the update process. Activity result launcher is registered to handle the result of the update flow. I'm going to log the result code here. When the update is cancelled or failed, if you want to execute particular code or show any error messages, you can definitely put the code right here. It will work accordingly. Now outside of our check for in-app update function, we are going to create a listener. Remember it should be outside. In this part of code I am using installed state update listener to monitor the update process. Every time the state of the update changes, this listener will be triggered. For example, when the app has finished downloading the update and enters the downloaded state, we want to notify the user that the update is ready to be installed. In this case, when the state is downloaded, I'm calling a function to show a snack bar to the user that will restart and install our application. And yes, we are going to make that function right now. So if you're not using view binding, you can just use it like this. You just need to reference your main activity XML layout. And then we have made an action to uh, complete the update and restart our app. And this is the set action text color. You can choose whatever the color you want. And now that is done, let's register our listener. And registering the listener must be inside the check for in-app update function. After the register listener code, We are going to enter a new code. This part of code is very important because this is going to check if the Play Store has a new update for your app or not. Is it a flexible update or a immediate update? Immediate update means users can only use the application after the update is done and it will be like a full screen update. For flexible update, 
every time it will ask the user if they want to update it or not even if they want to update it it will download the update in the background and once the download is finished they can restart and install it it will give some more flexibility that's why it's flexible update this is where we are actually requesting for the update and if you want to add a separate code for like your own custom dialogues or any other code uh, you can also add it here between these lines that's optional but if you want you can do that now in order to optimize the code we are going to add a on stop method and on resume method and in the on resume method we are actually uh, checking for if the app is downloaded and once the app is downloaded it will show the snack bar uh, restart button which will install the app it's a tutorial app so I can't directly upload it on the Play Store so I'm going to show you guys the exact code that I used in one of my application and I'll show you guys the result of that. As you guys can see it popped up the update option and once we click the update it will download the app on the background and once it's done it will show a snack bar to restart our app and then it will install the application. I hope this helps you guys, feel free to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.